This is my Freeze Friday quick layout share and discussion of all the money I spent. And this week I did spend some money, but for uh, items that uh, I made exceptions for. Uh, I think there's some adhesive in there, um, some foam sheets, and two albums to put layouts in. So uh, I managed to use Hobby Lobby coupons, so I didn't spend much money, I think less than $40 total, and uh, I got, you know, just some basics. But I did not buy any paper, I did not buy any embellishments, and I did not buy any washi tape, because Moira told me <laughs> that I need to be careful in that not and use my washi tape before it spoils and I, I have personal experience with that so I agree completely. Okay, uh, I have lots of Paige Evans stuff on my desk because I just did a Paige Evans Truly Grateful page. Uh, it doesn't go live until Wednesday so I'm kind of pushing it out of view there. Uh, it, that'll be in next week's review. This page was for uh, Scrap Squad, a special lift this was the original lift. It was for Sochio Martinez's birthday. Um, I featured uh, Ava cleaning her closet uh, set of photos. Here's all the stuff on the floor and here's the clean floor and a proud, <laughs> a proud baby girl. Okay, another Paige Evans, um, truly grateful Paige. Um, this one for the regular Scrap Squad lift that was came out last Friday, and which I did for Scrap Squad Sunday last Sunday. This one was not for a challenge, and I may not have made a video. I did not make a video for this one. Those first two are video, have videos up on my channel. Um, one is named Yes, the other is named Hello. <laughs> you can find them there. This is 100% fabulous. Uh, love this picture of Ava. Uh, she's in the original photo, she was climbing over a wall, a, a half wall, a pony wall, I guess you call it, at a restaurant. And here I just made her a wall. And the only thing that wasn't in my Mind the Scrap January kit was this black and white uh, stripe. And I put it in there because of her coat. So this one is the, you've always had that whole fierce warrior princess kicking cancer's ass vibe. Um, all the papers, except the background. The ba background, this was for uh, Mercy Tierra's main challenge. And I did uh, Scrap Timbers challenge and the ABC challenge to use a lot of alphas. And this is the um, page by Christy Harriman that I lifted the idea from and I, I kind of altered the title a bit. Um, uh, these alphas, I, I recognize these two. This one is Horizon. This one is Truly Grateful. I think that's Chamel. Um, uh, I'm not sure what collection that's from. But there's some Vicky Booten uh, glittery uh, foam alphas. Like I said, all the papers are from the January Mind the Scrap Kit. And the alphas are from, you named it. <laughs> you name it. Okay, here's another Ava page done for Mixed Media Frenzy this past week. And the original um, is actually a canvas sitting on a table, but I kind of saw a little bit of what looked like mixed media here and kind of a, a chalky, grainy look. And so I decided to try to um, do that on this uh, gray kind of chalkboard looking paper. And then I did some, this is torn, uh, heavily textured watercolor paper that's on foam. I did a, a Bramble Fox perspective here and here. Uh, lots of flowers and metallic elements that have been in my stash for ages, including this cute little kitty cat. She's a nut, Ava's a nut about cats. That's a heavily altered, uh, filtered photo of her that her dad took. I think I have the original photo eh, somewhere back in here. Anyway, um, and her favorite color is purple, so I pulled out all the purple uh, inks and, and um, 
flowers and stuff. So that was a fun page to do. This one you can't see. That one doesn't go live until um, February 9th. I did that one as a guest designer for uh, Load, Layout a Day, which is a month-long challenge where you get daily prompts. Um, it's over at scraphappy.org. And um, if you want more information, just uh, jot me a note uh, if we're friends on Facebook or uh, on YouTube and ask me for further information. It's run by Alice Bowl, who is the expert on all things creativation. And she will give you some of the most um, thought-provoking, insightful kinds of prompts that you've ever had. She's amazing. So this page was done. It was started for my challenge at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club party on Friday night, and I didn't have time to finish it until Saturday because Ava is home this weekend, and we're doing all kinds of things. I have headed out to eat with her. I use a perspective there and, and some gears from the and cut file and sequins from the Creative Cuts Club. Uh, I used a Vicki Booten pre-done mixed media background and I did some stamping and some stenciling with watercolor, all kinds of things. I made homemade dimensional butterflies by punching out of some uh, Vicki Booten uh, wildflower and honey paper and then layering her vellum uh, uh, butterflies on top and then I layered wood butterflies on top of the vellum in a couple places. A perspective uh, star and this is all about becoming B. B is what we call my grandson Barrett who's here with his dad and this was, I'm committed to using old things that have been lying around and this is something I fussy cut from an old piece of paper that I, I want to say it's my mind's eye and I had to use Brad, so I kind of hook it onto the page with Brad's. Anyway, the last one that I'm gonna show you is one that just went live today called Make Your Own Magic, and this is a goofy picture of James and Ava back when she had hair and before anyone knew that uh, that she'd be, <laughs> you know, she'd be as sick as she has been, although she's fine at the moment and I think she's finished with chemo so she should start getting some of that gorgeous hair back but they were playing around with Snapchat and I played around with my hexagon punch and both uh, Vicki Booten Wildflower and Honey and Paige Evans um, Truly Grateful papers, scraps, all of these were cut from uh, scraps and I killed some, trying to make an effort to killing some of the sticker sheets that I have. So just a goofy page. And this was for the, uh, for Scrap Squad Sunday. It was this Friday's lift, just a couple days ago. So that's it. As I mentioned earlier, I didn't spend any money except on some essentials. I am running out of uh, pages in my albums put things away, and I know I promised you all an album organization uh, idea, and the fact is I haven't had a clear table to lay things out and and do the presentation as, as I want to do. Hopefully I'll have some time this week, although I, the first part of the week I'm going to be trying to get those secret, not secret, um, party challenges done and some from uh, oh rediscover your stash and a few other places that I ha have kind of saved some things that I want to do and haven't gotten to them yet so again it's been fun shopping my stash this is mostly newer product from kits and uh, my Paige Evans and Vicki Booten, who are my two um, exceptions to the rule. Uh, I've got new collections from them coming in. Um, the Paige Evans collection, complete, the complete new 
uh, Bloom Street collection. And Vicki Booten, I've asked uh, Christina to include the things that she thinks I like from the, her new uh, travel theme collection. So that's all I've got this week. Um, enjoy shopping your stash and um, freeze that spending. Bye.